leave me alone, please. In time of mourning, we find comfort in the words of a psalmist. The Psalm of David, the 23rd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup 
run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days. It's gonna rain. Maybe we should just go home. The reception's inside. I don't think weather's gonna be a factor. No, no, it's just seeing everyone after so long. Kira's Kira. Sid, well, something wrong with that guy. But you guys were friends. They need you. That's what matters. Go talk to her. We should talk to her. Kira. Well, uh, no sign of Sid, not surprising. Mm, maybe something came up. Yeah, Kinko's must be really busy tonight. So he doesn't have some big law firm job. He's our friend. Ah, uh, Sid. Sid. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I missed that funeral. It was uh, crazy at work. We're just glad you could make it. Thanks, man. Miss Mitchell. Nice to see you, Sid. How are you? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. How are you? You know. I'm gonna go. Why? I just, I just don't feel comfortable. Okay, uh, let me say goodbye. And... No, 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 listen. I want you to stay. They're your friends. They need you, but, uh... Sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. I'll be long. Okay. Love you. Me too. Hey. Hey, how have you been? Nice good. to see ya. Hello. It's good to see you guys. You know, I really miss hanging out together, having a few drinks. Well, it's because everyone picked up your bill. I could have claimed you as dependent in college. <laughs> I'm just saying we took care of each other then. And then we didn't. Come on, guys. College doesn't last forever. You're free to get married. You hear that, Kira? We're free to get married. I'll keep that in mind. OK, <clears throat> just taking me home. Home? It's like 8. It's 11. I got work tomorrow. Anyway, this place is closing. All right, how about we go someplace else? A bar? How about a cemetery? Mm-hmm. Did I mention I have work tomorrow? No, serious, guys. I mean, since I missed Steph's funeral, I thought it'd be cool if we went back, you know, together. Mm-hmm. Kira? I don't know. It's cold and about to rain, and a cemetery, isn't that a little weird? <sighs> no. What's weird is we haven't been in the same room together for years, and the best we can do for Dev is to have a few drinks. Sid. You know what, guys? I didn't miss Dev's funeral because of work. I just didn't go. Do you think Dev would have wanted us sitting around crying over him like this? What do you want us to do? Say goodbye together. We did that. It's called a funeral. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Guess I'll see you guys the next time one of us dies.
anything, I swear. Harris? Yeah? Hi, Sid. What are you guys doing here? Well, we're doing what you said, saying goodbye. Well, let's celebrate. We got strawberry. Well, that's what we're afraid of. Champagne. <laughs> All right, let's go. To Devon. You'll always be with us, Dev. We love you. Rest in peace, Dev. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Slow down there, man. You're gonna feel like shit tomorrow. I'm gonna take a walk, I'm gonna pass out. Wanna come? Yeah. Oh, look, someone left you a card. You mind if I read it? Oh, no, she, she, she's, uh, she's good. She supports me. We got goals. We're even taking it to the next step. The next. <sighs> Jesus, Harris Mitchell's gonna be a dad. Well, not yet, but we're uh, we're trying. <laughs> That's the best part, right? <laughs> So, does your wife still hate me? She doesn't hate you. She's scared of you, but she doesn't hate you. Scared of what? Well, maybe she thinks we got something going on we don't. <laughs> Do we? Why aren't you stopping me? Why aren't you stopping me? Hey, where are you guys? Oh, hey. There you are. So guys, check this out. I'm hanging out with Dev and I find this card on his tombstone, right? And I'm and I'm reading it and I'm like, damn, this is so what we're about tonight. You know, what we're doing here. Oh God, you're gonna break your neck. All right, so without further ado, I'd like to read a few words for Devin and all the other dead people out there tonight. O oh, joyful, O oh, delighted, O oh, fortunate one, weep no more, this departed son. Read these words and sound thy voice. Revel and sing, rejoice, rejoice. Life's for the living, not the dead. Forget tomorrow, live now instead. This night you breathe while they cannot, so dance ye soul on their resting spot. Who sent that? Doesn't say. Boy, dance on the resting spot. Woohoo! Dance on the resting spot. Whatever, man. I'm saying it's about living for today. <laughs> Can't dance on someone's grave. Don't listen to him. I think it's cool. All right. Joys, rejoice! Life's for the living, not the dead. Forget tomorrow. Live now instead. This night you breathe while they cannot, so dancey soul in their resting spots.
glad I didn't wait up. Sorry. Started talking about work, life, death, old times. <sighs> the usual topics after too much wine. Way too much. You know what? I think I'm gonna skip work today. Sure they'll be able to practice law? I mean, you haven't missed a day since you've been there. I'm sure that will do just fine. I'm gonna take a shower. Hello? I submitted that evidence two weeks ago through Judge Wien. Yes, yes, yes. Be right there. Did you, uh, call what's his name? Mm. Yesterday. He said it's an old house with old pipes, and since it's not an emergency, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. Love you. Mm. Love you, too. See you. Bye. Harris is calling you back. Hope everything's okay. Harris? Harris? Mm. 
What happened that night? After I left the funeral? I told you we sat around and talked. So nothing happened between you and Kira? Me and Kira? No. You know what? She's been calling ever since that night. I see her name on the caller ID, and when I answer, she hangs up. Maybe something's wrong. Of course there's something wrong. She's back in our life again. Listen to me. She's been calling me, too. I haven't seen or heard from her since the funeral. No, wait, you've been acting strange since then, too. And then, and then all the, all the stuff around the house started happening. With the pipes? No, other things. The doors. There's tapping. And then there's voices. I just don't feel safe. Oh, baby. When did you learn Chopin, huh? Right. Hey, honey. Hey. Oh, how's the alarm going? It was finished. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah.
Paris. Maybe she got in before we went to bed. How? The whole house was locked. They weren't home all night. Where is she? Did you find her? Uh, no, ma'am. We didn't find anyone. The alarm was tripped in the living room, but I didn't see any sign of forced entry. Well, she got in somehow. Has everything been all right here tonight, ma'am? Thank you for your time, officer. Good night. I told you, she's doing it again. Kira is not stalking. You don't seem too convinced I'm wrong. Why would she? What she did before was different. She followed you around. She showed up at your office. She called us at all hours. It was right before our wedding. It was a hard time for her. Bullshit. You know what? You didn't believe me then either. All right, I'll, I'll call her tomorrow. I refuse to live like this. We're going to sort this out tonight. Oh, what are you doing? You can't break in there. Why not? She does it to us. Where are you going? We tried the back. Kira? God, it's cold in here. Get a flashlight. What is it? I don't know. It's writing.
Kira. You're a Hayden. We're uh, friends. We found her. Has her family been contacted? Is she all right? I'm waiting on the results of a couple of tests, but uh, she should be. Those markings all over her? What were those? Teeth marks. <sighs> okay. Someone bitter? And there's also some bleeding indicating a possible sexual assault. Can I see her? Sorry, I'm limiting contact pending a full psych evaluation. But if there's any changes, I'll let you know. I'm sorry, Harris. Oh, well, good news is she's not stalking you. You know what? That's not fair. I oh, know. Sorry. Let me have to see the call. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, is this Advance's number? Sid. Hey, man. Who was that? I can't talk right now, but you gotta come over. You gotta come over and check this out, man. You're not Sid, gonna believe slow what's down. happening. What's going on? You gotta come check this out. But be careful when you come in, the thermal sensors are on. Thermal sensors? I think I'm being haunted. Well, I would not go that far, Mr. Vance. Hunting requires some level of paranormal activity. Yeah, uh, Sid. Who are these people? Who are you? Vincent Cochet, and who are you? These are my friends, Harris and Allison. Thank you. And this is my assistant. Colleague. Francis Calpepa. They're ghost hunters. Paranormal investigators. We are from the parapsychology department at Madison College. Mr. Vance answered my advertising, uh, offering a reward to anyone experiencing a paranormal phenomena. 
which we have yet to see. Yeah, I got your phenomena. Hey, what makes you think you're being haunted? Some weird shit's been happening to me, man. I mean, I hear noises and footsteps, and there's these little fires. Listen, we have been here 10 hours, and the scariest thing we've seen is your bathroom. Well, maybe that's because you don't know what you're doing. Or maybe we are investigating the claims of someone whose biggest decision of the day is whether to get drunk or stoned. Hey, why don't you read between the lines? Okay, okay, okay. Can we please maintain some level of scientific environment here? I mean, these two have been at it all day. That's long enough. We are gone. I think it's happening to us, too. I mean, I think we're being haunted. I'm uh, Vincent Cochet, paranormal investigator. Hello. Do you remember when you first noticed the activities? Maybe three weeks ago. Go on. It started with noises. Thumping, scratching. Thought it was the pipes. But then tonight a woman broke into our house. I thought it was Kira. <sighs> but when I saw her tonight, I knew it wasn't her. But there was a woman in the room. I'm not sure if you are aware, but uh, your time frame coincides with Mr. Vance's first claim of activity. Huh? Did you see each other at the time? Well, yeah. A uh, friend died in a car accident. We saw each other at the funeral. You didn't tell me you went to a funeral, Mr. Vance. I told her. Y you told me that you went to a cemetery. You didn't say anything about a funeral. Because I didn't go to the funeral. I met them at the reception, and then later we went back. Back where? The cemetery. At night? Mm-hmm. What? It's just weird, that's all. Did your friend uh, Kira also go back to the cemetery? Yeah, she was there. Did something happen? No. I think we should tell him. Tell us what? Yeah, tell us what? Look, Sid got drunk and pissed on a grave. Well, yeah, but that's not it. We also sort of danced. You what? You know, danced on some graves. Wait, I'm sorry, you danced on graves? Sid found a card about dancing, and yes, we danced on graves. Big deal. What card? Do you still have it? I don't even remember getting home that night. I'm not sure if you are aware of the possible ramifications of... We didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. It's called burial desecration. Yes. Hey, check this out. Hasn't done that before. 2.10 a.m. Mr. Van's apartment. Witnessing what I suspect to be a low-level spectral manifestation. Of a giant's burning footprints. Ah! It's not spectral. Ah. This reward cash or check? I spoke to the nurse at the hospital. She said she's keeping an eye on Kira. Best place for her. Yeah. I just hope these people from the college can help. They said they were experts. And do you guys see all that equipment? And besides, they have a really creepy house. I'm Vincent Cochet. Nice. Oh, hello. Nice house. Thank you. It was left by a wealthy alumnus who committed his life to a parapsychology study. We're being taped. Experiments are conducted throughout the house in case anything happens. Happens. Evidence of the paranormal is the uh, holy grail. Please. So its origin is not clear, but the verse was uh, obviously intended as a celebration of life. By dancing on graves. Well, it's a common practice amongst pagan religions, Druidism, Satanism, Wicca. Um, they sort of all embrace this live-for-the-moment philosophy. 
What has this concern is the following verse. Um, the grave dancers lament. O fool, O lout, O unfortunate one, the dead now mocked, their time has come. Heed these words, for souls do roam, and though be dead, follow you home. Its rage will swell as nights grow bright. Despair and fear this fatal plight. From moon to moon you'll have this guest to seal thy fate and lay you at rest. Scary, huh? What you found, my friend, wasn't a simple rhyme celebrating life. It was a spell, a curse. How does a curse get on a bereavement card? Well, dangerous occult mediums are fairly commonplace. Tarot cards, Ouija boards, that sort of thing. Sounds like a lawsuit to me. You're shitting me. We're dancing on a grave, what? We pissed off a ghost. Three. One for each grave. Well, how do we end it? I mean, there's got to be a grave dancer's cure or something, right? No. None that we are aware of. So we're going to be haunted forever? The curse lasts from moon to moon. One month. One month. It's already been over three weeks. It will persist until the final moment of the final night. Or... Or what? Until you are laid to rest. You mean until we're killed? Well, the curse is, is tied to the lunar cycle and moon to moon. Um, its rage will swell as night grows bright. So the closer we get to the full moon, the more severe the hauntings will become. You're saying we're all gonna end up like Kira? According to the lament, yes. If we can identify the grave you danced on and get some idea of who these people were, it may help us to keep you safe. Which is why we need you to take us to Crescent View Cemetery. <laughs> Screw that. I'm not going back there. Not a good idea. If we don't, there is no way of knowing what could be coming next. No way. Kira Hayden? He's here. He's here. Who's here? Get out of here. Let me help. Come on, don't touch me. It's when other people touch me. Get out of here. Oh, God. Get out of here. No! 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 think ghosts with big hanging out from moon to moon. Why are they so pissed? Well, the curse pulled them in from the other side. Maybe it hurt. Whatever the reason, Mr. Vance, they clearly don't dig it. Mm-hmm. Dig it. What are you saying? That if I uh, danced on John Perez's grave, we get haunted? What about Mother Teresa? Look, you can't just decide to be haunted. 
I mean, there's, there's more to it than that. There's spirit, there's state of mind, that sort of a thing. Yeah, but why wait? I mean, why not just kill us now? Who says they are not trying? Maybe they are not strong enough yet. Yeah, tell that to Kira. This is it. This is the spot. Yeah, this looks familiar. Oh, you gotta be joking. I'm not joking. This area is designated for the city's undesirables. The murderers, the rapists, the mentally ill, the socially unacceptable. Found it! Are you sure this is yours? Positive. What about Kira's? Kira was dancing well next to me to my left. It's gotta be it here. Yeah, definitely. This is the, this is it, the tree. Remember the tree. I'm afraid your friend is in trouble. said you and Allison found me? Yeah, you scared us. We heard someone try to attack you and a nurse. It's not what you think. I know. Kira, um, you're not the only one having these experiences. Yeah, we're being haunted too. It's because of that night in the cemetery, isn't it? met some people who are trying to help us once we work this out. I'm not staying here. No, you have to. I mean, this is the best place for you. It has security, the whole thing. I'm going with you. N no, you have to stay. I'm going with you. What we have found sheds uh, some light on your experiences. This is Dennis? Yes. It's a happy looking kid. Born October 5th, 1948, to Robert and Claire Faberly. Um, Dennis was a quiet, sickly child with an unfortunate affinity for fire. By age five, he'd set uh, numerous minor blazes and ended up burning down his father's feed store. It's believed he started the blaze, which accidentally burnt down his house in 1956, killing Dennis, his two siblings, and his parents. But if it was an accident, why is he buried in the psycho section of the graveyard? Well, the locals didn't think it was an accident. Uh, Emma Westbrook, a well-liked and respected high school music teacher. Uh, in 1923, she began an affair with a married man named Theodore Gusford. How do you know that? A confession to the police. And after Theo ended the affair, uh, Emma was so distraught uh, that she broke into his house and killed his wife. She killed someone? With an axe. And then she waited for him to come back and kill him. When the police found her, she was sitting in the Gusford's living room, covered in blood, playing the piano. Okay. Kira. Um, the grave you danced on had good riddance on the stone, and for, for good reason. The person buried there was William Langer. Don't I get a picture? He was a judge. And by all accounts, um, an outstanding citizen. A church-going guy, family man, charitable. When he died in 1890, the, um, the town was gonna set up a memorial until they found his journals. What kind of journals? Personal ones. Um, sort of detailing his appetite for bizarre sexual exploits. Sadomasochism, self-mutilation, torture. And then there was this. Um, she was found dead in, in Langer's basement. 
she was in a cage. Wow. You sure know how to pick them. We head back to my house. Wait it out. A few days from now, life returns to normal. I don't have a few days. The bastard's getting stronger. I can feel it. They are all getting stronger, and the lament is quite clear. To seal thy fate and lay you at rest. I'm afraid you can't wait it out. Why'd you call us down here? To tell me that I'm gonna be killed by a piano teacher? No. Axe murdering piano teacher. We called you here to tell you that we may have found a solution. There was this documented case of the Lamont in 1935. The victim did something and it ended the curse. What? Um, well, it's, um, it's a little extreme. A little extreme. Burial desecration is a root of your problems. You rebury the body, the curse is over. an eye on the others. What? I have to do this alone? Hey. Just slide him in. Make sure you get every single piece. Ugh. Ugh. Hey. Ah. Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. Make sure you get every single piece. Why? If not, this is all for nothing. Go away. Okay. Every single piece. Okay.
Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, leadeth me beside the still waters, restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That's it? Yeah. That's it? Yes. Careful with yourself. <laughs> I know, it's already. I know. Yeah. Seems all right. Yeah, it is all right. I don't know how I know, but it is. You hear that? Oh, someone in the house. It ain't over. <coughs> Is everybody okay? No thanks to you. We did what you said. We dug up the bodies and it didn't work. Well, I know you are disappointed, but you know we should remain calm. We also clearly stated that it might not work. You didn't say anything about it pissing him off even more. I don't believe the entities are any more angry. Really? And how would you know? We are doing the best we can. This is not a precise science. OK, all right, look. The, the bottom line is, is that we need to keep you safe. And the best way to do that is to keep everybody together. Stick together so we can do what? Come inside and I'll tell you. Fuck that. Where would you go, Mr. Mitchell? Sid. Please. It's not time to be alone, Mr. Mitchell. School probably cut the trees back. What? Maybe. What's the plan now? Sit in a circle, hold hands, and chant. <laughs> we we wait. We wait. It's the final night of the curse, and uh, tomorrow, the second the sun rises, it'll all be over. You said we couldn't wait at all. Yes, it's true. There was no indication that survival isn't possible if we stick it out. Yeah. No. 
not staying. Let's go. Please. It's like that, huh? Do the math, Kira. We'd rather take our chances alone with Emma. See, Kira, what I tell you. What's that supposed to mean? You bailing is just so typical. I can't risk Allison. So you're leaving because of her? Why shouldn't he? I didn't let anyone talk me into dancing on graves. I didn't talk anybody into anything. And besides, if you hadn't left Harris at the wake, maybe things would have been different. So this is my fault. I'm just saying. Sid, shut up. Hey, fuck you, Harris. If she'd been around, granted it would have sucked, but we wouldn't have gotten drunk, we wouldn't have danced on graves, and you sure as hell wouldn't have made out with Kira. Is that true, Harris? Is it? Can we talk? Sure. This is going to be a long night. Vincent, they, they shouldn't be alone. They're not. Do you have another one of those? Allison, about that night in the cemetery. Do you still love Harris? Yes. But he doesn't love me. How do you know? He wants to have a family with you. I'm a memory. He still cares about you. And I still care about him, but what you guys have is entirely different. He loves you so much. He told me so that night in the cemetery. Yeah. I'm so over Harris anyway. Maybe you haven't heard, but uh, I got a new man in my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking. Mm -mm -mm. Calm before the storm. She met out with her husband. We kissed. We didn't make out. <laughs> Don't even try to pull that shit. I saw you. Why don't we talk about the real reason the kiss pissed you off? And what's that? You're in love with Kira? What? Yeah. You've loved her since college, but you've always been too chicken shit to do anything about it. Jesus, Sid. Can't even admit it now. Right, that's just so typical of you to use these cheap lawyer tactics to turn the attention on me when you're the one cheating on his wife. You know that's not true. Well, nothing's ever your fault, right, Harris? I'm not the one wasting my life. I'm not wasting my life. I have what I choose to have. Yeah, everything except Kira. Oh, shut up, man. Upstairs.
Be careful, it's gonna be a good We'll get you out. Open the door. Sorry, guys. Could you uh, give me a minute? Have you found a way out? Gate is wrapped around the entire house. And still no signal. Men and phone are there too. Where's Culpepper? I'm not sure. Francis? I am so sorry, Vincent. It's not your fault. We know the dangers if they stay here. You can't blame yourself. You need to understand. Understand what? Yeah. Understand what, Culpepper? Okay, I... I needed the evidence. I couldn't let it in. We buried those. <laughs> I took it out of the bag. How could you do that? How could you do that? I'm so sorry, Vincent. I just, I needed the house and the cameras. I mean, I had to document that there was a haunting. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could end it, all right? There's an open grave outside. We just, we've got to put the skulls in it. How do we do that? How do we get out of this house? I don't know. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I just, I just, I just needed the evidence. Evidence. Harris. Harris. No, no, no. No! 
Say those things. Sorry to. We didn't find anything. Does she have to be here? I can still help. Look, unless you have dynamite for the bars, nobody wants your help. Listen, I know you're angry, but now it's not the time. Oh, really? When is the time? Because the sun rises in less than an hour. Then it's best not to waste it fighting each other. You better hope that little pyro gets me, because I swear if I make it up. <sighs> what? Flashlights are in the hallway. What? This room? I locked this door. Oh my god. <laughs> That's in the cell. I'm not going anywhere unless something's chasing me. Stay here.
know, you're the expert. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys smell smoke? <laughs> She's gone.
Where the fuck is he? What is it? Nothing. Just the caretaker. <laughs> 